A scientific study is warning that the magma chamber under Japan's Mount Fuji has come under immense pressure, which could even trigger a volcanic eruption. The added pressure could have been caused by last year's massive earthquake, which was followed a few days later by another large tremor directly underneath the mountain. ABC North Asia correspondent Mark Willisey reports from Tokyo. It rises nearly 4,000 metres into the sky, a glorious symbol of nature's perfection and its menacing power. Mount Fuji last erupted in 1707, spreading ash as far away as Tokyo, 100 kilometres to the northeast, and some fear the volcano could soon stir into life again. It's known that after a large earthquake, nearby volcanoes can erupt. That's what happened last time when Mount Fuji had an explosive eruption. New research suggests that since last year's magnitude 9 earthquake and a tremor underneath Fuji a few days later, the pressure inside the volcano's magma chamber has soared. This has Japan's meteorological agency stepping up its 24-hour surveillance of the mountain. The meteorological agency now has 30 highly sensitive earthquake detectors and global positioning monitors on Mount Fuji to give them the earliest possible warning about a coming eruption. If something abnormal happens, we will analyse the data and then send out eruption and evacuation warnings to the media and local governments. It's been estimated that a massive eruption could spread ash over thousands of square kilometres, causing more than $30 billion in damage to health and agriculture. Trains will stop, planes won't fly, crops will fail. Several million people will be affected. But for now, Fuji remains a sleeping giant, and everyone living in the shadow of this national symbol is hoping the volcano's slumber will long continue. A former chairman of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, Dale Klein, says Tokyo Electric Power Company will not be able to sustain itself without re reforming its management. The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has come under fire since the accident in March of last year. Klein spoke to NHK after the first meeting of a panel of outside experts set up by TEPCO to improve nuclear safety and corporate management. Klein is the head of the five-member panel. I think uh, the fact that they established this committee demonstrates an awareness that they need to change. And I think they understand that at the top management, and then they need to communicate that clearly to all their workers. Klein said that prior to the accident, TEPCO had become overly confident and did not question the safety of its nuclear plants. He said the company was apparently underestimating the power of nature. Prior to the meeting, Klein visited the Fukushima Daiichi plant and checked the number four reactor. It is feared that the reactor could develop further problems in the event of another earthquake. Klein said that based on his observations of the reactor's fuel pool and available information, he thinks the building is safe and can withstand earthquakes. He said the widespread uncertainty among the Japanese public about the pool was caused by early misinformation that it contained no water. Klein added that TEPCO should allow an investigation by an external body, such as the International Atomic Energy Agency. It's an admission that contradicts everything the company has maintained so far, that Japan's nuclear disaster could actually have been avoided. In a report released by the Tokyo Electric Power Company, which runs the Fukushima nuclear plant, it found that, when looking back on the accident, the problem was that preparations were not made in advance. It feared that if tsunami risk studies were disclosed, that it would lead to immediate plant shutdown. And there was concern that if new severe accident measures were implemented, it could spread concern in the sighting community that there is a problem with the safety of current plants. The company also said it feared legal and political consequences if it highlighted that accident measures were needed. TEPCO had always insisted it was prepared for the tsunami disaster in March of last year. But this report also criticizes the emergency response 
citing a lack of expertise and confusing orders from company headquarters and the office of the Prime Minister. This comes on the back of actually several issues. One is that uh, recently about 90% of the Japanese populace have indicated that uh, they are against uh, nuclear energy in Japan. And in addition to that, uh, there is the popular perception as well that there was uh, too much of a cozy relationship or collusion uh, between the uh, plant operators and also the regulators, which enabled uh, this type of lax environment to arise whereby the disaster occurred. There are now far more stringent safety laws in place as a result of last year's disaster. But the Fukushima plant is not alone when it comes to not being adequately prepared. The European Commission released a report earlier this month where it found that practically all the 130 active nuclear reactors in Europe need safety overhauls at the cost of around $32 billion. The Fukushima plant will now be dismantled. But it's estimated that the cleanup will last decades and cost Japan billions of dollars. All the people of the area will also need to be compensated. And now it seems all of it was entirely preventable. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera. Yeah, no one, 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 no one